your baggage in your head compartment and a small round baggage and accessories must be placed under the seat in front of you. If you can't stow your baggage in your head compartment, it will be placed in the hold underneath. Hello guys, welcome back to my next video. Today's video will be about uh, something what many people are looking for, how to do it, how to use it. And this is a PA announcements for your aircraft or specific airline announcements. Now, for those of you who are following my channel, you might have seen a video I have done some time ago about this PA announcements using specifically within the Phoenix aircraft. There has been some issues with that. I don't know why I have been testing it uh, sometimes with MSFS 224. Not sure if there is any bugs or if it was something I was doing wrong, but I have encountered some issues. And not so long ago, I have come across this uh, add-on which is located on flightsim.to websites. All the links will be left in the description of the video so you can always access them. It's extremely great. I mean, I really like it a lot and shout out to developers of this uh, add-on. Really well done, guys. Great job. Now, this add-on will not work out of the box with your specific announcements. You have to understand that you have to also download specific airline announcements, which you can get from this website. And I will leave the link in the description. And this is an amazing Discord link where you can find all those different specific airlines announcements. And uh, for today's video, I'm going to download the Air France so I can show you how this works or how to install it basically. I will also leave the link in the description for this Discord server. You can get the Universal Announcer either from flightsim.to or there is also a GitHub server where you can read all about it. And if you scroll a bit down on GitHub, there is an installation path and you will see you can find the current release over here and there is a hyperlink so you can download it from there. Once you try the add-on, if you are happy with it, do support those developers. They have a link for buy me a coffee. I can understand that it can be a really hard job to develop all these add-ons. And as I said before, great job on this one. I'm just suggesting to support these developers. Let me open my folder here, go to downloads. I have it over here and the application so you double click to open it basically in my case it's already running in taskbar so i'm just gonna click here and bring it up forward now this is the add-on uh there is a couple tabs on the top all right nothing nothing hard pretty much straightforward you can also select uh, to make this start with the microsoft flight simulator it does work with msfs 220 and 224 as well i have it unchecked but you can check it whether you like it or not then the audio you can set your specific uh, speaker setup if you have it via headphones you can all do it over here you can set specific volumes uh, what I also checked over here is PA Audio Mix, uh, which basically simulates cabin speaker noise. I think this adds a little bit of immersion. You can set up the volumes for the main PA announcements or for the music volume as well when the music is played. Sound files, this is something which will make sense uh, in a moment. I will explain why. Then announcements it's itself. I only unchecked after landing music. I don't really want that. Integration. Obviously, this is the important one. Simbrief username. If you do use Simbrief, please add it over here. And then I do have a GSX myself. Uh, then I enabled this. So when I enable GS GSX integration, so it says here, when enabled announcements will be triggered by GSX boarding state. Now, if you don't have it, just uncheck this, okay? The next step is to obviously download some of those uh, specific airlines announcement files. And today I'm gonna download the Air France. I don't have it just yet. So once I clicked on it, uh, you will see uh, additional threads on the right corner. Sometimes these threads are longer, so you would have to scroll down and double check if they didn't update the pack or basically the files to the newer version, because sometimes they do. So let's go to Air France and I'm going to click on the Google Drive link. So let's go and download this AFR. So once we have that and it already downloaded, we're going to have to unzip it. So I'm going to use in my case it's WinRAR and unzip it doesn't matter where at this point now at this stage this is something important you have to always double click and double click again making sure that audio files are uh, visible after you clicked on that specific icao airline code because we want to copy this folder all right what i'm trying to say sometimes they compress these files that they would have a folder within the folder within the folder so you have to always make sure that you are copying the folder which includes 
the audio files, okay? Where does this folder needs to go? So pretty simple, you have to locate your community folder for your SIM. And then we are looking at Phoenix Aircraft 320. Double click here and you notice there is announcements. Double click here. Default will be there once you have your Phoenix installed, okay? Default will be already there. Now these, uh, obviously I have added AFR before. Let me just do it again and I will overwrite that. And then EWG stands for Eurowings, which I tested yesterday. So now we have uh, Air France and Eurowings and default is the one provided by the Phoenix, which is default one, okay? So how does it actually work? And we can open again this uh, universal announcer add-on and you can see that there is a specific location right so you can change that folder as long as the default announcements with the audio files will be somewhere where you are selecting it okay so if you make it custom for yourself however you want to you always have to make sure that you are pointing it out to announcements where within the announcements folder is the default one it has to be there so if you do have phoenix aircraft i suggest you to follow my video and do it exactly as it as i'm explaining it's actually explained on the flight sim.to uh, website and also on the other uh, link which i'm gonna provide in description this basically tells the software where to look for those announcements and everything else is done automatically okay the nice thing about this add-on is that it actually it will know which airline you are using depending on that because the airlines within the aircraft cfg files you remember they have that specific cfg file which will have icao code or airline code uh, so in this case we're gonna test it with afr air france and as afr is uh within the CFG file of the aircraft, it will know that the AFR folder within the announcements has to be read, basically. And notice something else, where it says airline, it says default here. And then if I change it to AFR, I can see all the audio files which will be available. And you can keep it on default, it doesn't really matter. So you don't have to necessarily change this to AFR, okay? Once you are going to fly with Air France, you can keep it on default because the add-on supposed to check this automatically and play the specific files. This is only filter to see what kind of uh, audio files you have installed, okay? Obviously, one more step, quite important if you want immersion immersion, make sure that you have an Air France livery. So in my case, I do have a Phoenix and nowadays Phoenix have liveries within the installer. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna search for Air France and install it, um, maybe this one, all good, CFM variant okay so one is okay i'll keep it like that and now we can go into msfs and i can show you how it works all right guys so here we are in the cockpit of airbus a320 this is the air france livery which i have downloaded via phoenix uh, manager so i already have a universal announcement or universal announcer running in taskbar so basically that's how it runs it's minimized i can show you right now double click over here so uh, as i said it's running in the background a couple things you have to understand over here uh, so on the very first tab status we can see that connection is connected pre-flight it reads aircraft a320 and airline air france as you can see it does read it automatically so basically it knows which sound files should it play and notice that it says waiting for logo light on or gsx boarding i do own gsx now you don't have to own gsx for this to work you can use it without it it works as well however in the integrations right here in this tab you're gonna have to disable the GSX integration if you do not use it GSX. Also the SimBrief. SimBrief, I do have SimBrief account. It's uh, free to open if you want to have SimBrief. Uh, so uh, it's up to you. Again, it doesn't have to be necessarily used. Uh, again, I didn't really test it without it as I'm using SimBrief, so I cannot really confirm, but it should work without it as well. So in a moment, I will create a plan just to show you. Anyways, let's return here on status. One thing I wanted to point out notice uh, what i said before waiting for logo light on or gsx boarding so i'm gonna use it with gsx boarding but when i tested it previously with logo light being on or turn it on it didn't really trigger anything i assume because later on i noticed when i was doing like a second or third test if i wasn't using gsx and i turned on the beacon light this one over here 
then it did trigger in that moment. In my opinion is supposed to say when the beacon light is on, not the logo light. Uh, flight state controls, it should be on auto and it's on auto by default. Okay, so we can click apply and okay. All right, guys, so I also created meanwhile a quick plan via SimBrief. So if I go to integrations, I can fetch the latest plan and it was retrieved. So I can go back to status and just click apply and OK. Uh, notice that when I clicked OK, it disappeared. It didn't close. Don't worry, it's still running in taskbar. All right, so I will start with the aircraft preparation, just like I was about to fly the route. All right, guys, as you just heard, a welcome boarding message from our flight crew in French. Later on, I think it was shortly in English. And so it was triggered automatically when I requested boarding via GSX. So yes, uh, it does work perfectly fine. But uh, let's continue with boarding. I'll uh, cut into the video when we'll be ready for pushback. And you will see that the announcements which follow as per procedure will continue to happen. So far so good. It works perfectly fine. And I didn't have to do nothing manually with Universal Announcer. It was triggered automatically. Big announcement is just outstanding. Very good add-on. As you heard, guys, we have the announcement that the boarding has been completed. This has been also triggered automatically. Uh, was presented in French. So we'll click dismiss. We are ready for pushback. And uh, pay attention because uh, when we will start pushing back, uh, there will be a couple announcements happening. And uh, soon after the small two short announcements, you will also hear the security uh, PA announcements. Okay, releasing parking brake. So, like I said, please pay attention to the announcements. There was the announcement, as I said, and very soon you will start hearing the uh, safety announcements for this specific airline, in this case Air France. So I'll switch into cabin. All right, guys, so as you saw, as you were able to hear, this add-on is working great. It's It doesn't have any major issues. At least I didn't see any. Go ahead and try it yourself. Like I said, it's free. If you like it, please do support those developers. They have a link for buy me a coffee. I think they do deserve some uh, appreciation because uh, this is one of those add-ons where some other companies will charge you 
lots of money for something which is not even that good. And here we have something which uh, is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Hopefully this video will help you how to set it up, how to run it, uh, how to get the files. I think it's pretty straightforward. If you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer to as many comments as possible. All right, guys, so for today's video, this is it. For those of you who are new to my channel, please do not uh, hesitate and subscribe. It does definitely support my channel. And uh, leave a comments, leave suggestions, and I will see you next time in my future video. And uh, happy flying. All the best, guys.